Testicular cancer is not the most common cancer in America, and as <clears throat> it affects approximately one in 250 men throughout the span of their lifetime. Because of the relatively lower incidence of the cancer, in order to understand how the cancer works and what are good treatment options and how to identify the best treatments for these types of cancers, many testicular cancer patients will find their way to major academic centers where testicular cancer patients get concentrated. At these centers of excellence, they specialize in chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and uh, surgical procedures that are done for testicular cancer. Uh, these experts have ex uh, a lot of experience in performing these surgeries and are known to provide uh, better quality outcomes for these more complex uh, surgical procedures that may be necessary. In addition, these centers will have ongoing clinical trials uh, where patients are, are enrolled and uh, it may involve the use of experimental protocols where various different methodologies for chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or even uh, experimental medical therapy may be incorporated into your treatment plan. These centers also provide uh, a multidisciplinary approach to the treatment of cancer, which means we have collaborative teams of medical oncologists, surgical oncologists, and radiation oncologists who contribute to the care of the patient. At Somerset Medical Center, we have a cancer center called the Steeplechase Cancer Center, where we use a collaborative approach to the treatment of complex cancer problems. And because testicular cancer is a, uh, a cancer that often requires multimodal therapy, which means combination of surgery, possibly radiation, and possibly chemotherapy, then I think patients benefit from being treated at, uh, at these types of cancer centers. But the way to find out where to go for treatment of your cancer, first step is talk to your local urologist, whoever is treating you for your cancer, and uh, talk to them about the possible clinical trials that may be available at your institution. Uh, if there are none available there, or if you wish to seek out uh, larger academic centers where there are high volumes of cancer patients, then ask your urologist about where the, the closest uh, academic centers would be uh, in order to get, to get a second opinion. Uh, it's also helpful to go to some of these centers where these, these physicians are treating large numbers of testicular cancer patients.